Hey, what's up guys? It's 360 here, bringing you another Minecraft video today. I am in creative. I'm going to be doing a redstone creation, as you've probably seen inside of the, uh, the title of the video, obviously. But today, I am doing... I actually, I did this on my very first video of this channel, actually. It was a uh, four-digit combination lock. I just wanted to... I don't know, I feel like I would do it on here, too. I mean, might as well. So, uh, yeah. So, this is the four-digit combination lock. Basically how it works is you have these four buttons that control your combination. So you got one, two, three, and then four. The door opens up, that's the button you get out over there. And then this is the reset button to reset it obviously in case you mess up. So here's how it works. Basically, so this is the first one. So this one goes down and it tries to find a code because this is the first one that's being pressed. So and the the numbers go like this. One, this whoops. This block is one this one's two three and then four these are just to go into the pistons right there and then these ones are output god why do i keep breaking stuff today <laughs> these ones are just output for the red ones for the in case you got it wrong but i don't you don't need to mess with that anyways so yeah um so it the first one goes down tries to find a code this is one so the first one the first code is one then it goes down the second one so it goes this is two this is the first code, by the way. This is the second code. All these ones, third code, and then fourth code. So the next one goes along. Tries to find that's two. So it goes to three, and then and then it goes in this one. And it finds the fourth. These don't work. And uh, yeah, so I for the video I just made it one, two, three, and four. And then once it has all the codes, it travels down this way. It starts right here. So it goes in here. The this is always on. So it has these repeaters on. And when the code goes through, it turns this piston on which pushes this up the current can go through it see how it goes through it and it just keeps going through it until all these are pushed up and then this happens and I'll show you, I'll show you how to put all this too so what happens is you have a full current going along which goes to your little I guess doorbell whatever to get into your house it goes this way this controls how long your door is going to be open I put five repeaters maybe that's six okay I put five repeaters to the fourth ticket. I say fourth tick because when you place it down it's one and then two, three, four. Just to clarify. So yeah, and then it goes in here, it turns this torch off, which turns these off, which takes these off basically, they'll go down. And then turns this up. This is your door right here. Or you can even make like an underground door. This is I just put the light on the cool and this is the button which goes to here, opens the door when you so you can get out. So yeah, okay, so this is we're gonna build this and uh, yeah, let's get started. Hey, what's up guys? It's 360 Kui here, bringing you another Minecraft video today. I am in creative. I'm going to be doing a redstone creation, as you've probably seen inside of the, uh, the title of the video, obviously. But today, I am doing... I actually, I did this on my very first video of this channel, actually. It was a uh, four-digit combination lock. I just wanted to... I don't know, I feel like I would do it on here, too. I mean, might as well. So, uh, yeah. So, this is the four-digit combination lock. Basically how it works is you have these four buttons that control your combination. So you got one, two, three, and then four. The door opens up, that's the button you get out over there. And then this is the reset button to reset it obviously in case you mess up. So here's how it works. Basically, so this is the first one. So this one goes down and it tries to find a code because this is the first one that's being pressed. So and the, the numbers go like this. One, this, whoops, this block is one, this one's two, three, and then four. These are just to go into the pistons right there. And then these ones are output, God, why do I keep breaking stuff today? <laughs> these ones are just output for the red ones, for the, in case you got it wrong, but I don't, you don't need to mess with that anyways. So yeah, um, so it, the first one goes down, tries to find a code, this is one, so the first one, the first code is one, then it goes down the second one, so it goes, this is two, this is the first code, by the way. This is the second code. All these ones, third code, and then fourth code. So the next one goes along. Tries to find that's two. So it goes to three, and then and then it goes in this one, and it finds the fourth. These don't work. And uh, yeah, so I for the video I just made it one, two, three, and four. And then once it has all the codes, it travels down this way. It starts right here. So it goes in here. The this is always on. So it has these repeaters on. And when the code goes through, it turns this piston on 
which pushes this up the current can go through it see how it goes through it and it just keeps going through it until all these are pushed up and then this happens and I'll show you, I'll show you how to put all this too so what happens is you have a full current going along which goes to your little I guess doorbell whatever to get into your house it goes this way this controls how long your door is going to be open I put five repeaters maybe that's six okay I put five repeaters to the fourth ticket I say fourth tick because when you place it down it's one and then two three four just to clarify so yeah and then it goes in here it turns this torch off which turns these off which takes these off basically they'll go down and then turns this up this is your door right here or you can even make like an underground door. This is I just put the light on really cool and this is the button which goes to here opens the door when you, so you can get out. So yeah, okay, so this is where we're gonna build this and uh yeah let's Okay. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a few blocks obviously. You're gonna need I mean you can sh what is what was this block? Oh yeah, that green. The green rule. You you can actually have any uh block you want that I showed over there, you can put whatever you want, but I'm I've I've always built it with uh, these kind of blocks. So I, I use an iron block and a stone slab and yeah, you, so you can get a block of iron, stone slab, button. You can use a wooden button too. I, I have a diamond sword to kill any mobs that are going to annoy me at night. And you can you can get an iron door, you can use any kind of door yet, but these are most, I don't know, they look kind of cool. A sign, redstone torch, note block, uh, redstone lamp, red wool, lime wool, sticky piston, stone, and then cobblestone. And if you don't want to use sticky piston, you can also have uh, like a regular piston and use sand and gravel. Um, that's all fine too. So yeah, you can use like any kind of block you want, like bricks. You can use wood, or whatever, whatever your liking is. So yeah. All right. So you want to start out with a six, like six, like that, and you want to go up two on each side, and then you just want to connect them basically, and then. You can use any block in the middle, but I like the, these uh, stone slabs. They look kind of cool. And you just put your buttons on the outside. This is where your door is going to be facing this way. Or no, so what, what, where, wherever you want it to go. You can have your, have your house over here. You can have it in the sky. Have a ladder going up. But, you know, it's your choice. So after that, you want to come around the back. You don't need your iron. You can use the iron block still, but you don't really need it. I'm just going to put it away back here in my inventory. And then get the stone. You don't need your button. You're going to need some redstone stuff. I don't know where my redstone went, actually. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so you get your uh, you can get your stone whatever you want. You want them on these right under these blocks. You just want to put four of them, just like that. And then just you have to do it just like this too, because it doesn't work. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So not so you want to like face your buttons, but go hover over this. The second one you want to put a repeater facing that way. On the fourth one, and you want to put some dust in here and dust right there. Then you want to click a checkered pattern with um, these repeaters and stuff like that. So you want to put a so repeater redstone. Redstone, repeater, redstone, repeater, repeater, redstone, boom, 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 boom. And then not these two, but with these four, they all want to be on the fourth tick. So just like that, okay? And then on this row right here, you want to have a some blocks right above them. You want to put torches right there along those ones, okay? These ones will light up, that's fine, it's supposed to happen. You want to put four blocks in front of this. Torches on these. You'll notice that these ones are turned off. All you have to do is to turn or turn the, these ones are turned on because this torch is hitting the redstone, so it turns them on. Or these no. Wait, what the fuck? I don't even know. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So these the redstone hitting this block turns off this, and then these ones are on because that's not any current going through this block. Okay, so to fix that, you just want to put a piece of redstone right here. This torch lights up this redstone, turns off the torch on both of them and you're good you don't need to if you put them like this that's it doesn't, well, it's not going to do anything if you put like this not going to do anything i just broke the entire thing that's cool so put this back and you want to put it right here and right here okay so now that you have this design i'll uh kind of a little 360 look okay okay now you want to uh, wait. let's do a time set day real quick. There we go. Burn, baby, burn. Okay. So, anyways, you want to make um, I think uh five. You want to do this with the repeaters, but you want to skip one. 
So every other block you want to place four of them in a row about five times. So there we go. And you just want to place blocks, whatever block you want, in front of the repeaters. Make sure that all these repeaters are also in zero tick or one, whatever you want to call it. You know, we just place blocks all in on these. Uh, these, this laster right here, you want to put redstone like that and just kind of leave it out like that. You know, and then on these four, you want to put blocks. Uh, one more out. Put a piece of redstone dust on these. And then leave them there. Now you can take this block out. And you want to go ahead and grab your sticky piston. You can move these over here a little bit. Grab your lime wool and your red wool. By the way, you don't have to use these two colors. You can use like yellow and green or purple and blue, whatever you want. Or any kind of block you have in your inventory. Or like I said, if you don't have, if you're trying to make some or survival, you can even use regular pistons. And... Um, <clears throat> like sand or gravel, I'll show that at the end of the video, seeing that showing you guys that it works. So, so yeah, so you want to place two repeaters or two sticky. Oh, am I saying repeaters for two sticky pistons on these redstone right here? Make sure they're facing up like so, not like that. So you don't want them to look like this or this. You only want them to be facing up. So then on this row. These are the greens, which means you got the code right, so you want to place them on here. These one means you got the code wrong, so you want to put it on there. And then uh, on this side, you want to grab your stone block or any block that you're using again. Doesn't really matter. I just threw my uh, redstone again because I'm stupid. Okay, and then you just want to place two out like this. You want to place fillies in with stone also. And on this side, you want to put two out also. And then right here, push the block just after this or, uh, sticky piston, all the way down the line till about right here. And then you can like make kind of like what that was with like the, the middle cut out, just going all the way across until this very last block. And then you're good. And then you want to place a uh, torch right there, a redstone dust right there, and then repeater, 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 all these right here. Leave this one out. Because you don't want this to interfere with this. Makes sense, but you know. Okay. And then uh, you can just kind of build a little staircase if you want. So, yeah. And then this will be your basis for your stuff. And then you just kind of connect this up all the way down here. Like I said in the first part, you need to put some. Because if you just have it like that, it's like a door opening and closing automatically. So you want to put like a delay. You can you can put five, six, seven, eight, how long your how, however long you think that you need your door open. This is still pretty fast, like you saw. But I'm just having to, I, li I like five repeaters on four ticks, so it's pretty good. And then um, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm gonna grab my blocks again, and then start making the door. Kind of making a frame here. Basically just making the same thing I have over there. Put little windows right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna put your door right here, and then you just want to place the repeater. It's it's just you're just connecting this signal right here. Make sure this signal is connected with this because this is how long your door's gonna stay open. Fuck that spider. And then uh, yeah, so you can have that. And then I like I had in the video, I had a little light right here. You just break that, put that there, and then uh, just put another redstone signal going to that's for your button to put right here by the way so you can actually get out of your house and you put that on the other side I do that okay so then um, you can just put like a put a redstone dust I guess no I don't prefer that so yeah so you can have this and then you don't need to put a delay on these ones it just doesn't matter that's your delay for your door not that that's just there so I don't know I'm not, I'm not sure you can put yeah you can't do that okay um so yeah, okay, so yeah, this is the uh, full layout. Let me do a little bit of a 360 on this. Just uh, showing you. Oh yeah, and this part here. This spider's going to piss me off here in a second. That's why I have the sword. There we go. Put that right there. You don't want, you know, that, that, you know, you don't want spider stuff. Okay, so with this, you want to put a repeater about, right, you can, you can put it anywhere, but just put it right there. And then just connect all this up. Rest and rest on don't worry, it'll go out over here. It just needs 15 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
little reach. Okay, and then once that's all done, you can, um, you're basically good, should you go. Um, I'll do the code next right now, and then we'll do the, uh, you know, the, that, okay. Okay, so with the code, it is, it, I mean, it's not very hard to do the code, but, uh, you need to kind of pay attention on this part. This is the part that probably some people are going to be confused on. Like, how do you do the code correctly and stuff like that. I don't need two of these. I always get very... Okay, whatever. So you just want to get some cobblestone. I use cobblestone because it doesn't match with that, so you know it's the code. And you just need some redstone, and you're good. Okay, so to start off, yeah, the first button um, is this one right... This whole row right here is the first button. And this is the second button, third button, fourth button, okay? Now your fourth... So the, the way the code works is that this... These blocks right here are the ones. These are the twos, threes, and then fours. Now your first code starts on this section right here. Your second code consists of these ones. Three goes with these ones, and four goes with these. But the code starts way back here, and then it ends over here. So four, three, two, one. You know. So this is the first, second, third, fourth. Just to clarify. I know I'm kind of annoying you with that. Anyways, so let's just for the video purposes, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. So if you want one, so one's right here, obviously. Like I said, the first back one, this is one. So and then say you want two, so you go to the second one and you go over two, or well, one, two. This is two, and then over three, to number three, one, two, three, and then you want your fourth one, so one, two, three, four. Now you see how this is all not really connected up. So you want to put blocks where there isn't any redstone right here, you know, and then. To get this signal over there, you guys gotta kind of fill it with redstone, you know? Well, you don't really know because I'm telling you, but yeah. So yeah, that's how your code's gonna work. We can actually try the code right now, and it should work. So then, I'll make a reset button, and yeah, so... And you can also, you know, like, like write all your, all your um, numbers here so you don't forget. Because I sometimes forget, and I can't obviously type forward or whatever. So yeah, and then a reset's gonna go about right here. So yeah, I'll do that after. Okay, so now the code is one, two, three, four. This is the first button, you know. So when you press the first one, that hits it up. And then it's gonna keep on going to signal. Two, three, four. The door opens. How much time you got left? Because it stopped. And then bam, you're good. So that's how it works basically. You overhead a little again. One, two, three, four. Yep, see? Now you're good. Okay, so now we're going to do the... Uh, and uh, by the way, right now, if you don't want to see how to do this, because you probably know how to do it, like the the, uh, the thing that lets you know that you did it right and you're opening the door, the... Uh, I'm, I don't even know what to, I don't know what to call that. Oops. I just be okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, if you don't want to, if you don't want to watch this part of the video, how to do the little alarm thing, the to get into the door, and you can uh, leave the video right now. Just saying, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what next video I can do. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more content. I do Minecraft every couple of days, or whatever. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. And peace out to you guys that are gonna leave right now. Okay, now as for the other guys, you're just gonna need to get some note blocks, um, cobblestone. Well, you don't, I'm going to use stump mat, that because it kind of matches that, but, you know, I should not use stone. And then just some redstone and then some repeaters. Now, you can take this current coming off of, like, right here, per se, because this comes off, and then this is the part opens the door that way and goes that way, too. So you can kind of just take it, come out a couple, and then make a little pad. You can have, you can have like, a really long one if you want, like this. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really go that dramatic, though, to be honest. But um, I guess it could be that much. I'm just gonna put this here just in case, just so it gets to it. And you can go like this. You can have like one, two, three, four, and then five. This is first tick, two, three, four, five. You know, have it go in a line, and then just place these here. Now you notice that it has this thud. That's because there's a block under this. When you have different blocks under um, 
underneath these. Like, watch. I make like a. This is a high pitch sound. And a fish. I don't know if you put if you put these here. It's a pretty cool sound, but I like I like these better. I usually just mix them up, try to get it high as I can. I don't know if you put wool under it. Same thing. All right, so. All right, so now you have that, so we can try it out, I guess. You know. Let me get my this. Did it? Did it? So that's pretty cool. I like that sound. So yeah, you're basically done. You're, this is the entire build. Um, I just need to add the reset button. The reset button's fairly easy to do. Uh, you just get your block of iron, your slab, or whatever you want, your button, redstone, and some, you know, whatever. I'm gonna get some stone too. And then uh, you're assigned to name it reset button if you if you forget what it is, you know, it happens. So you make it look a little three by three. Put that there. Put your button on. You can put your little sign. Name it reset button, whatever. And then basically what you're doing, you're connecting this button to this torch because this stuff turns it off. So that's how you're going to connect it. So it's, that's, that's the theory. So you just come out one, go up two, break the bottom, go like that. And then you're just going to keep running this. Not, I don't know, I didn't know you could put buttons right there. That's cool. I really did not know you could put buttons there. That's the first time seeing that. That's cool. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to put another block right here. <clears throat> Connect this off, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Repeater. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so you're good. So the way this works is when you hit this button, it'll turn off that switch, which turns off those signals, those repeaters. I bought the pine so I can do this. Turns off those repeaters, these all turn off, which turns down that, which stops the code going down. So let's say you do one, you're like two, three, and you're like, uh, I don't remember the last code. You're like, eh, 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 eh. How do I reset it? So you, you could you could either break this block right here and put it back, or if you want to do that and you're too lazy, just press the button. See, resets it, and you're like, okay, another code. Boom, 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 boom. Cool, code comes on. You forget your code again and walk into the building. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, you put your button here. Press the button to get out. And bam, you have yourself a lock code. I know it seems pretty weird to have a combination lock for something. Unless you put, like, obsidian around it. People could just bram. Oh, it has a house. Oh, screw the code. It's fucking thug life. You know. But, <laughs> but yeah, so this is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helps some people want to build, like, a little combination lock. I know it's not one of those crazy uh, three by three locked doors. I have nine, but uh, I'm not that advanced with codes. I just made well, I, I, this. I this I didn't make. I've just I saw it in a video a long time ago, like probably three or four years ago, and I used it on Xbox. Made my first video with it, and uh, yeah, I don't remember who the YouTuber was who made this, but uh, yeah, I watched it and I made it. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like comment and subscribe like what I should do next if I should play some Minecraft or World at War or Hunger Games or, oops, survival games <laughs> or something I don't know so yeah uh, subscribe if you're new I do Minecraft every probably I don't know two to three days if you guys enjoy leave a like comment subscribe talk to you guys later I'm gonna go fuck up this zombies day and peace out bye